Hi guys, what's going on today? Hope you're having a great day or a great night, whatever time it is for you when watching this video. If not, I hope it gets better for you. All right, so now, instead of each time I try to recap last episode and completely forget, I finally use my fucking brain. Get one clap. <laughs> and I decided to write a couple of things down on a fucking notepad instead of sitting here being like, uh, uh, what, th th this happened? Uh, 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 wait, what else happened? Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> it only took me, it only took me seven volumes to do it though. So fuck me. But through the last episode, we saw Penny was framed with, for all the deaths from Tyrion. It was when the lights come out. Robin saw Penny out with her swords. So she was just uh, instantly assumed and we all know when you assume it takes an ass out of you and me so looks like robin's gonna have to live with that when she figures finds out the truth finally have the ren and nora kiss that was really really nice finally it felt like a long time coming but it's still just fucking incredible to finally see that happen we're gonna be jacques Schnee got elected that seat on the council that's gonna be very just that's just that that is just insta bad news no matter which way you look at it it's gonna be it's gonna be bad and there's also now because of all the negative emotion from the election from just everything that's happened over the, in through mantle there's there's now a bunch of grim that have come down out of nowhere because of that so gonna be a bad time for our team but as usual guys if you're going to enjoy this video subscribe Hit that bell to know when I post a video. Like the video to show me that you guys are enjoying the reaction content. And let's get right into chapter 7, worst case scenario. Which they're in right now. There's nothing good about this scenario that the team is in. Love this line. The people who sing the openings for these these shows are so good, dude. The music is just so well done. I ran over my cord with my fucking wire. I ran over my cord with my chair. That's definitely gonna be very soon. That fight. With everything that's been happening, there's no doubt. So Penny go back to Atlas, back up to back up to Atlas. That's the footage that Arthur uploaded. Mmm. Sly prick. What the? Is that Robin? People from Robin? Civilian. Yep. You are obstructing an Atlas military operation. Please step aside. Everything alright over here? Whoa. Whoa, what the what? Wait. Uh. Hello? Oh! 
like a... Oh, I can't think of the word. Uh, like a... Like a force field sort of thing. It's like a... Like from Black Panther. This to hide Wakanda. Case scenario. More people are dead. Penny's been framed. And somehow, Jacques Schnee is sitting on the council. That's the second shipment for Amity that was hit today. It seems election night was the last push Robin needed to go from hometown hero to full-on vigilante. I'm afraid mm. the problem is more complicated than that. It seems Robin has emboldened our suppliers in mental. They're refusing to sell us provisions until the city is adequately repaired. With Robin Damn. redistributing the goods her team has stolen, the Amity project is completely stalled. But we're so Oof. close. There has to be some way we can finish the tower. There is. Ooh. Declaring martial law. Ooh. You're not actually considering that, are you? What's more important? Establishing communications, unite the world, or appeasing a few city blocks? Don't mm. make it sound trivial when you know it isn't. Sure. You keep talking about how we just need a little more time, but you're not the one having to struggle. We have all had to make sacrifices for the greater good. Mantle has had to bear a lot of the burden, yes, but... They're bearing all of it! The longer this waiting game goes on, the harder each day gets for people down there. And now you want to send in more soldiers? You can't force people to fall in line. If you do that, you'll just be trading all of these problems for the Grim. Hmm. Fucking let him know, Nora. Damn. Please, General Ironwood. Squeezing Mantle this way, that kind of division plays right into Salem's hands. That's why Tyrion is here framing you. Right. The reason we called you here in the first place. You're sure this was the man you saw? Yes. Tyrion Callows was accused of murders all across Anima. A homicidal maniac who yeah. escaped justice when his prison <laughs> transport was attacked by Grimm. Yeah, maniac that is one word for it. <laughs> well, he works for Salem, and he's here. If we ever mm -hmm. had any doubts Atlas was Salem's next target, I think those are officially out the window. But now we have a suspect. Sure. We can tell the people that a long lost serial killer is loose in mantle and the military has no idea where he is. <laughs> Might make things worse before they get better. Yeah, that's I'm so sick of secrets. That's one way to spread oh, fucking about Amity, about Salem. We can't. If we talk about Amity now, we were Salem's forces who we know are here working to sabotage it. If we tell them about Salem now, we risk falling to the Grim before we can reunite Remnant. Sure. We have to finish the tower. I want Robin Hill in custody. We can offer her a deal if she gets Mantle to cooperate. We'll figure it out. Anyone not assisting with Robin needs to focus on Tyrion. I want to know who he's working with, where he's hiding, what he's planning, mm. and how exactly that video of Penny got all over my kingdom. So, one Arthur, where he's hiding. Don't know, actually. Yes, yes sir. sir. Yes, sir. Damn. Lyren at attention. Looks like we're approaching 51st. Thanks again for the assist on this, you two. Now we may all be split between different trucks, but we need to be ready to act as one in case Robin's team takes the bait. If your truck is hit, pursue immediately. So is that like Everyone current cameras? As fast as possible. Going radio silent. Over. Or is it that's like last scene location camera sort of thing? You... Do you think we should have told Ironwood about Salem? Before he put so much on the line for Amity. Sounds like you do. I trust Ruby, mm. but I think he deserves to know what he's stepping into. We all did. True, because he doesn't know Salem. Like, he doesn't know Salem's invincible, right? Look around. The embargo, the military presence, the restrictions on assembly. He's a bit prone to overreacting. Yeah, hard to argue with that. Still, he didn't have a lot of good options. I'm not sure there are many good options left for any of us anymore. Keeping secrets? Taking lives? It makes you wonder how far we're going to have to go to keep doing the right thing. Blake. We did what we had to do. I know. But next time, I want to make sure we don't have to. And I can tell you, ambushing a huntress who's just trying to help isn't an option I'm thrilled about choosing. 
Yeah, very, very fucking true there, then Blake. Maybe we shouldn't. Wait. What? How is she doing? She's confused. Scared. We'll have her recorded visual data shortly. Uh, that should prove her innocence, but the damage has already been done. Yeah, that's just the things people are saying about her. Ah, oh, completely like edited fucking footage as well of Penny actually attacking Robin people. Their target. Salem's goal has always been to divide us. I think Penny was exactly where they wanted her. Just like at the Vital Festival. And just like back then, someone is using our own technology against us. This doctored footage of Penny came from her work all around Mantle. Stolen straight from our surveillance network. Ugh, hacking. Technology. Well, why can't people just do what they used to and fight to the death? A lot <laughs> simpler if you ask me. Well, if we're dealing with the same enemy from Beacon, hacking into Mantle's system would be simple. Fortunately, the rest of Atlas is running on an upgraded network. And how would someone get access to that network? Well, only mm. a few people have clearance. Ironwood, the council, our cybersecurity and surveillance leads. And maybe a select few who oversee critical systems like sewage or the heating grid. The heating grid run in partnership with the Schneedust Company. So what are you thinking? I don't know yet, but something isn't right. Damn. Oh, so Arthur, in that case, is just like incredibly <sighs> smart then. He's like big brain smart. These past weeks, I'd have likely collapsed by now. Getting a communications tower into the sky seems impossible on its own, but now. To think of what people want to do to my girl. Mm. <laughs> Even if the worst Aww. does happen, you can always reactivate her again. So maybe try not to worry so much. There's a reason why Penny is the only one of her kind. Why? When the general first challenged us to find the next breakthrough in defense oh, that's technology. Cool. Most of my colleagues pursued more. Uh, Wait, who's that? Who's behind his finger? I was one of the few who believed in looking inward for inspiration. You wanted a protector with a soul. I did. And when General Ironwood saw her, he did too. Much to my surprise, the Penny Project was chosen over all the other proposals. Why would you be surprised? You created an artificial aura. Not quite. <gasps> Whoa! Is her part of yours? Yes. And each time I rebuild Penny, it takes a little more. Damn! If people get their wish and she's destroyed, I won't be able to... <laughs> Damn, so it takes part of his aura every time he has to... Every time he has to remake Penny. We'll find it, that's what I was gonna fucking say. Is that Arthur? When when he had the face covered, I was just, I had the thought in my head that that was Arthur as well. Robin, scramble! No, wait! Holy! Split up and regroup at the hideout. Okay. Well, that's cool. Well, it doesn't look like Robin's in the talking mood. Ah! Oh. Bitch. If Ironwood wants me, he'll have to send more than a couple of kids. He is. Stopping the trucks alerted the ASOPs. We don't have long before they arrive, so please listen to us. You need to know the truth. <sighs> You're stalling. Amity Coliseum, all these supplies, they're for... Uh, sort of, sort of stalling. For a new communications tower. That doesn't make any sense. A new tower means the kingdom's I know finally... what the tower means, fisticuffs. <laughs> One of you take my hand. What? Wait. You said time is short. Either take it, or I'm gone. That's, uh... That, uh, wait. That's kind of... What the fuck? 
tell me again, what is Ironwood building out in the tundra? A new communications tower. He's oh. trying to help everyone. So Robin's Chinese semblance is like a lie detector. Semblance. Why keep that a secret? Yeah. Because he doesn't know who he can trust. Atlas isn't out to get anybody. That could be handy. Murdering civilians in Mantle are just trying to make it look that way. It's pretty cool. And if those same people learned about Amity, they do everything in their power to destroy it. So who are they? Who's actually behind this? Yang, Blake, mm. where are you? We can't tell you that part yet. Bullshit. Look, we are trusting <laughs> trust us when we Aww. say that Amity Tower needs to stay a secret until it's done. Nearly got our first that actual time. swear word in the show. Like, they haven't said, like, What's shit or on? fuck throughout this show, have they? Like, I don't think they have. I won't stop until I know the whole truth. Low key, Robin's semblance for the lie detector could be could be really cool. It's right behind that door, the staff of creation. Oh! I hoped bring you down here in my jog some memories. After all, it was your idea to use the staff to lift Atlas off the ground. I thought gravity dust kept Atlas afloat. That's the public story. But with the staff, we have a constant, seemingly limitless energy source. What happens if the staff is gone? Take us as high as we wanted. To tell you the truth, that served as the inspiration for the Amity Project. Get a communication tower up in the sky, higher than the Grim can survive. So we never lose contact with each other again. Wait. But you're not using the staff to raise Amity. The staff can only be used for one purpose at a time. We're going to have to do Amity the old-fashioned way, dust and all. Uh-huh. I feel strange, knowing a part of me helped come up with all this. You'll get used to it, I'm sure. So what happens if the staff is taken? Would the and does Atlas just fucking fall? We didn't know we see eye to eye, but I wish I could ask Ospin what he thought of all this. Well, I can tell you what I think. The path you're heading down, where you're the only one with the answers, where you do the thing you think is right no matter the cost, it's not going to take you anywhere good. Hmm. I fucking like Ironwood, dude. We have to stop Salem. So nothing matters more. Some things matter more. I think. Keeping our humanity. It's what makes us different from her. Very, very fucking Sometimes true. Worry, that's her greatest advantage. Without humanity, does she still feel fear? Does she ever hesitate? When Salem hit Beacon. Being with all my ships, all of my soldiers, I was no match for her. Mm. I've never felt so helpless. The way she told me she was there. What was that? It's okay to be afraid. You just can't let that fear control you. I am not going to end up like Lionheart. Was Ironwood just reliving his fear from when when Bacon was being taken down? I do believe in you. But not only you. I think the best thing you could do is sit down and talk with the people you're most afraid to. Hmm. <laughs> now you are starting to sound like him. <laughs> Pretty cool elevator. Not gonna lie. Oh, that's not very. That's not very hidden at all. Holy shit! Who? What? What's going on? It looks like you're getting your wish. My father's first act. We've all been invited to dinner, where the general will oh. be defending his seat on the council. Oh, oh boy. Okay, so that makes that that makes that clear who sent the letter. <laughs> oh shit, dude. Damn. Okay. Pretty good episode. 
pretty good episode. A fair couple of things happened throughout this, which I might have to go back and watch through again. But Robin now knows about the Amity Tower. We learnt that the relic down in the Winter Maiden's cavern is what's holding Atlas up this entire time. So my biggest question to that is what if it's taken? What if the Winter Relic is taken? Does Atlas just fall? And Atlas is pretty much like above Mantle, right? So that's just... That pretty much equals bull... That equals just not good. <laughs> that equals just... Very, very not good outcome right there. So, very, very interesting. But with the other things, I'm going to have to go back and rewatch Because there was just a couple of things that happened throughout this episode. So, I know we found out about the relic. Robin found out about that. Looks like her semblance is like a lie detector, which would actually be really damn cool. Like, I don't know whose semblance I would personally prefer to have out of, like, everybody's. But... Hers wouldn't be the worst. Not gonna lie, hers wouldn't be bad at all. But yeah, really good episode. So next episode looks like we're going to dinner with Jacques Schnee. <sighs> Fuck, another episode we have to deal with him. And he's gonna try and weasel his fucking way into the general seat on the council. If that happens, the mantle and Atlas are fucked. If that happens, it's just it's just insta downhill from there. Oh god, that can't happen. We, that. So what are Ruby and Crow up to? I don't really know. Okay. Well. That's it for me today, guys. I'm going to go back and re-watch through this episode to, find, just to figure out what happened with other bits because my memory is blown right now. My memory is through the, like, through the floor. There'll be a bit more of like a recap-ish at the start of next episode, like there always is for each episode. But anyway, guys, that's it for me. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, leave a like on the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. Comment down below what was your favorite part of today's episode. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.